tell you something. Let me tell you. Before watching this video, please like and subscribe as this will help this channel grow so I can keep making great videos for you guys. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay back again for another video on Real Sports Talk. And today was a very eventful day. You know, we got football back. You know, it didn't look how we, you know, usually think it's supposed to look. But football is football. And I was watching the Texans game with my brother. The Texans and Chiefs game. Watching, you know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Just do what he do. You know, I feel like he's probably the best or second best back in his draft class. You know, I think he had a coming out party against Alabama and showed the, who, the whole world who he is. And tonight, you know, he just showed that he's going to be the Kareem Hunt for that team. You know, you know, if any, if he continues what he's doing, this Chiefs team is just going to be too good. Because one thing they didn't have last year with Damian Williams was a great running back. A running back that can go give you 100 yards every game. Damian Williams could probably give you 100 yards here and there. He probably had those couple games, but he wasn't a bell cow back. He wasn't a 17, 18, 20 carry back. Kyle was hilarious. He's that guy. He can do it. And he can catch out the backfield, so he's virtual. So, I think the Chiefs had a running back of the future. But when I'm watching this game, and I'm watching Kyle Harris a let go off, I'm thinking to myself, the whole notion that defense winning championships might be over with, with the Kansas City Chiefs. Why do I say this? You think about the Chiefs' history, Patrick Mahomes, what did he do in his first full season in the NFL as a starter. He went all the way to the conference championship game and went all the way to overtime, putting up 40 plus points. Only reason why he lost was because Brady got the ball and scored. Mind you, this was the same Patriots that he put up 40 on that went and shut out the Rams, who was almost as great as the Chiefs was on offense that same year, 13-3. Same, same, same Patriots defense with the great Bill Belichick, right? So now you go to the next year. They go to the Super Bowl versus what everybody called the best defense in the league. Some of the best pass rushers, the first round pick, got the first round pick. And what do they do? Hang 30 on them. Just go out there and hang 30 on them. So this whole notion that defense wins championships, it doesn't apply to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. It just doesn't. You can't tell me that defense won the, the Chiefs Day Championship. It did not. <laughs> you know, it helped them win, obviously, because when they were down, the defense did its thing to help, you know what I'm saying, to keep the offense to score without the other team scoring. You know, it helps. But this offense won the championship. And tonight they proved it again. Listen, you're not going to stop us. No team, no matter how good the defense you put together, no team in this league is going to stop this Kansas City Chiefs team from putting up 20 plus on them. I will bet right now that Kansas City, barring any injuries, if they're healthy the whole season, they average 20 or more points every game they play. Especially with Clyde, because now they got a running game. So even if the pass ain't going, they're going to use the run to open up the pass, which is already dominant. And so it made me think, you look at Tampa Bay. People say, oh, your defense ain't that good. Why you didn't go on your defense? Why you didn't spend all that money on your defense? Do you see why now? Do you see why they went and got Leonard Fournette and didn't get, you know, Jadavion Clowney? Whether they could afford it or not. Do you see why Tom Brady pushed so hard to get Antonio Brown? Do you see why, you know what I'm saying, they went and added, you know, Shady McCoy. Even though he old and watched, they still added him along with Ronald Jones. They brought back Gronk. Brady got that great. You see why? You see why the Cowboys took C.D. Lamb at 17, even though they lost Byron Jones, even though they lost Robert Quinn. You see why they did that? You know what I mean? You, you see why though, right? Because they know that offense is going to win championships in this league now. It's no longer the defense. We can kiss those days goodbye. As long as Kansas City Chiefs is here. Now, any other team, maybe. Maybe defense wins championships. But if this is Kansas City Chiefs team, it's not going to work. I mean, they just know how to turn it on. The Texans go up seven points. I'm pretty sure if, if I was a Texans fan, I'd be happy. And then they just scored, what, 24 unanswered points, 31 unanswered points. 
Are you serious? Because they're just that good. And then their defense looked better than it was last year for some reason. Especially on the D-line. My boy Chris Jones got two sacks. Deshaun Washington out there struggling because he ain't got no real receivers. And because just because David Johnson had a coming out party, coming back, I'm back party. It didn't matter. Because who cares about the running game when the other team scoring 31 on your head? This is what this thing does. The Cowboys had Zeke. I want y'all to think about this for a second. Think with me. The Cowboys had Zeke or Elliott. Tony Parker, who played well last season. Had Mario already. Had Blake Jarwin. Had Gallup already. And still went and drafted CD Lane. Because Mike McCarthy knew, hey, if we want to win, we might have to go through this thing. And Zeke is great and all. But I'm going to need three great receivers because when this team starts scoring 31 on the points, because it's going to happen, I need something to score. I need my offense to score 35. You know what I mean? I just, I just, offense wins championship, y'all. I don't see a defense stopping this team. Real talk. I'm watching this game. I'm just saying, man, if you're a defensive team, and your offense is nowhere near your defense. I, I hope y'all have a good season. I truly hope from the bottom of my heart that y'all have a good season. But if y'all run into the KFC Chiefs team, kiss the season, goodbye. It don't matter. It just don't matter. Unless you have offensive firepower that can match this team, that can put up 20 to 30 points to 40 points a game, you're not going to beat them. You're just not. If Belichick can stop this kid from putting up 41, and then San Francisco's great defense can stop this kid from putting up 31, who gonna stop? Who? The Ravens? The Cowboys? The the, the no? Uh, the the 49ers again? They didn't stop him last year. What makes him? What, what, like come on? The formula for beating this team is to smack them in the mouth, get a lead, and have a dominant run game to keep your lead because that's the only way. And even then, they'll still find a way to put up 20 some points on you. Because they're just that good. They have the perfect combination of speed, power, and athleticism. They just have it. They just have it. They have probably the best athlete in the NFL at the receiver position that can run like a 4-2, but still catch contested catches and run great routes. You got a tight end who's probably the number one pass catching tight end in the league. If not the second best. You got Patrick freaking Mahomes, who got half a billion dollars because he's just that good. He just wants in a generation type of talent that good. And now you got Clyde Edwards Alip, who might be Kareem Hunt. He might he don't even have to be as good as Kareem. Just you know, he ain't even gotta be better than Kareem. He could just be as good. And that team is better. I don't know about y'all. Y'all may still have hope in y'all defense winning y'all this championship. But I'm going to tell you right now from my perspective. Offense winning the championship for me. Because this team right here, the Kansas City Chiefs, ain't no defense going to stop them. I will say it again. If Belichick couldn't stop and the best defense in the league couldn't stop what makes you think that somebody else is. That's all I got to say, y'all. Can't wait for Sunday to watch these other teams play. That's all. Peace.